More money, more problems. You heard that before? Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Hey, Rich Friends, it's Dr. T. Mac here again for another episode. I was going to say episode. It's not really an episode because this is not my podcast. These are just my videos. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Dr. T. Mac here. If you are not new to this channel, welcome back. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. I forget to say that a lot, but do that. Do those things. Like, comment, subscribe, and share if you think this video helped you. If it helped you, I'm sure it's going to help other people as well. So today's topic is about being broke. I know y'all saw the title. Being broke is the best thing for your relationship. Well, yeah, it is. And no, it isn't. So let's talk about it. Let's just jump right in. Broke people cannot make decisions. Okay. Let's be clear. You cannot make good decisions when you're broke. I know you're going to be blasting me in the comments. Trust me, I'm ready for it. I have been broke and all I could think about was how can I make money? How can I get money? How can I pay my bills? How can I, how can I, how can I? Everything, my whole world was about how to get ahead, right? I was single. I was broke single. I was broke when I was married. I was broke divorced. I was broke dating. I was broke, 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 broke. It is not good being broke, but the reason why I say it's the best thing for your relationship is because when you are broke, you're normally the most vulnerable and you're at your lowest point where, because you're trying to come up. So you start developing character. That's when you really find out who you are. Some people say it's money. Oh, when people have money, then that's when the real person comes. No, 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 no. The real person comes out when you're broke. And I feel like if you've been broke before and you've struggled and you've made it or you're at a point in your life where you're like, okay, now I am financially able. Um, I have all the things that I wanted. Now I'm ready for a relationship. Now I'm ready to share my life with someone else. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm ready for this. Now I'm ready to have kids. Now I'm this, now I'm that. Now I have this stability in my life. Well, guess what? You're going to have to match that. Your energy is going to have to match the energy of that person. Because if you're financially stable and you attract someone who is not financially stable and y'all get together, then that's what I, being, listen, they're broke, but you're not. And you're going to be carrying them. You're going to spend all your time trying to boost them up and trying to bring, drag them along and boost their ego. Listen, been there, done that. It doesn't work. It does not work. Being broke before you get in a relationship and getting out of it and coming up, that's the best thing for your relationship because you, you've done all the things, right? You've been at your lowest. You know how to troubleshoot. You know how to uh, manage now. Now you know how to manage your money. You know how to uh, overcome obstacles, adversities. You know how to make a penny stretch. You know how to do all those things. You've learned how to network so you can get your, um, your net worth up. You've learned how to be creative. You've learned how to um, prioritize because you have to do all these things in order to be financially stable. Being broke is the best thing for your relationship. Trust me, get it over with, get it out of the way so that you can spend the rest of your life as the best of your life with the partner of your life. If you don't believe me, I know you want me to ask my husband, right? I knew it. Honey! Whew. Yes, my love. Wow. Being broke is the best thing. It is, but it isn't. Whoo, T Mac is my wife is just bringing the fire. Um, this is one of those ones where you have to think about it because um, in anything that you do, um, and and you've you've heard me say this several times: energy, mindset, right? Um, 
when you're at your lowest, as I'm pretty sure we all can relate to this, when, or when you feel that you're at your lowest, um, you feel like you can't think. You feel numb, you know, that, 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 that blah. And I can only imagine, you know, when you're at your lowest, because I was there, when you're at your lowest, getting out of a bad relationship, trying to reestablish yourself as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a person, um, and you're just stuck. Um, those, as my wife said to me, were some of the, were some of the best times was because when I transitioned from um, my previous marriage into my own world, I had to learn how to become an independent, um, really a single parent, uh, and keep things going. Yes, I, I tell my friends this all the time, as long as you have a job, you can get through it. But you got to be able to get through it and you got to be able to have something, a trade or something that you can you can use to benefit getting yourself out of it. Because all we're looking for is a break. You don't know when that break's going to come. It's just like an entrepreneur. You know, if you keep working at it, you keep working at it, you keep working at it, something's going to hit. It's the exact same thing as when you're broke. Um, broke mentality. You're looking for something. You're looking for something. You're looking for something. Um, but as long as you're putting in that work as a job perspective, as long as you're putting in that work mentally, knowing where you are and, and accepting that you got to accept it. I'm, this is where I'm at. This is my new world right now, but it's not gonna be long, but this is where I'm at through time, through positive energy, because you still have to remain positive because you got people looking at you. You have your family looking at you. It will break. And then you're going to learn the do's and the do nots. This is what I'm going to do when I get to that next level of my, of my life or, or of my stage of financial. And this is what I'm not going to do. And those are some of the things that sticks with you when you become that next level or you have money um, uh, that's accessible to you when you have things that you can do things, and then when you get into that relationship with that next person, you can see some of those things and you can share some of those things with that person and those shortcomings and help that person get to that next level because it's all about help. But, but it is tough, and I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of people feel that embarrassment, feel that, that, that sense of, of what we call our pride, the pride that, we, that will demise us at times. But if you become real with yourself and you're able to, to grow from that process, now your eyes, your lenses become a lot more clear and you're able to make more decisions because you've been through it all, you've seen it all. And when you meet that partner, you can literally come forth and be able to say, hey, listen, I'm here, I can help, I understand, and let's get through this if this is the person that you feel that you wanna spend your life with and you want to be as a partner. So keep those little things in mind, keep those tools in mind, and um, just know that being broke is a good thing, but there's nothing like having money. I can assure you that. <laughs> so with that, again, this is your boy. Three you got strikes. my perspective. You have my perspective. But we want to know your perspective. So let us know in the comments. And don't forget to also like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, then we'll know that you want to see more of Dr. T-Mac. Three Strike McCray. See you on the next video.